Hello and welcome to the SRCC podcast. My name is Shauna Kelly and I am one of the project workers here in the centre. Sligo Rape Crisis Centre offers support to anyone who has been affected by sexual violence. We are here to listen. We offer information, advice and a range of supports across Sligo, Leitrim and Cavan. You can contact us on 1800 750 780 or info at srcc.ie. Here with me today is Margaret McGoldrick, who is one of the counsellors working with us here in SRCC. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Shauna. Thanks for having me here today. So to start, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm a counsellor psychotherapist with the Sligo Rape Crisis Centre, and I've been working in the counselling field for the past 10 years. Um, I have a BA in counselling psychotherapy, a diploma in cognitive behavioural therapy, a diploma in clinical supervision and certificate in mindfulness. I suppose I'm also currently undertaking a master's in bereavement with the Royal College of Surgeons and I would consider myself, I suppose, as a person-centred therapist with a background in CBT and mental health. Can you tell us a little bit about what your role entails? Sure. My role is very varied. Um, I own, run my own private practice as a cancer psychotherapist. Um, I'm a critical incident responder. I'm an educator in grief and bereavement. And I also work as a wellness coach. Um, I have a particular interest in supporting individuals both through trauma grief and loss and whilst I walk alongside people dealing with these challenges presented by life and death. I strongly do believe though that the client is the expert Um, the client is the one who lives inside the self and has had the experiences. They know when something resonates with them in a therapy session. They know what they can and cannot cope with. They know the areas and issues that need to be addressed. I suppose I believe then that there is a natural strength in all of us towards healing. People just need to gain a confidence in listening to what their body, their mind and their emotions are telling them. And then again, I, I listen to what the client brings to me and their goals. This may be short term or long term counselling. And presenting issues might include, but not are always limited to, things like bereavement, depression, recovery from childhood sexual abuse and trauma, relationship difficulties, stress and anxiety, bullying, self-esteem and identity issues are some of the things that come to me. Whether I'm working in addressing a current situation or exploring past events in a person's life, the focus of my work with clients is always to address their current struggles and to make for them a better future. The events of the past are done and over. We only go back to the past to throw light onto the present and to make the future more hopeful and less painful. Why did you become a counsellor? Okay, I suppose, you know, I was always passionate about helping people since I was a young girl. Um, I worked in the corporate world for 24 and a half years, worked in London, then on to Sydney and then back to Dublin. Um, And then when a personal tragedy took place, one day I decided I would retrain and help people along their journey of trauma and recovery, which I suppose I'm really privileged to be part of that and to be able to do. Hello, you are listening to the SRCC podcast, which is coming to you today from our head office on Kempton Parade in Sligo Town, just beside the Garavogue River. On this episode, we are talking with Margaret McGoldrick, one of the counsellors who works with us here at SRCC. And what are some of the challenges you face as a counsellor? Okay, so I suppose, you know, my vision is to live in a society in which sexual violence is not tolerated. However, as people are still experiencing the trauma of sexual violence, I'm there to try and support them 
and, you know, through a compassionate care and empathy lens. Um, There is this myth out there, though, that these acts only take place by a stranger in the street. However, what I see within the work that I do, I see it a very different reality. Commonly, the perpetrator is known to the survivor, which can intensify the trauma and can have huge lasting effects and impacts on the relationship. Therefore, then, I see a huge challenge we encounter is suppose, we need to educate society to the realities of sexual violence, which will hopefully help prevent it taking place in the future. Another challenge I see is that counsellors face is that, you know, dealing with the sensitivity of trauma on a daily basis. Whilst I experience this myself, I do use different techniques to support my role, such as supervision, um, self-care, maybe peer support and an endless journey of knowledge. Trauma is complex uh, and therefore each client experiences it differently. So we do need to be aware of this in our work so that each session needs to be tailored to the individual needs. And what do you like about being a counsellor? Well, I'm passionate about helping people and I suppose I'm really privileged that clients allow me into their world and and I don't take nothing for granted. Um you know, and when a therapist and a client collaborate on solutions that work for them, I suppose this in turn can lead to healing, healthier maybe relationships, reduced stress and fewer symptoms of trauma. Then I feel a job well done. And we ask this question to everyone who comes and has a chat with us on the podcast. But what do you do for self-care? Good question, Shauna. Um, I enjoy spending time with family and friends. Um, I like getting out for a walk with my dog, Joey, um, as I call it, with say to clients, air in the hair, which I think is very important. Um, and getting onto that beach. I also like getting lost into a book, uh, reading a good book. Um, I enjoy that. I also, on a Wednesday night, play cards, uh, 25 in particular, something that I grew up with, with my family and friends. And and more so, I enjoy, you know, escaping away from Dublin for a weekend, back home to lovely Leitrim um, for a break in that countryside, but equally to spend some time with family, my wonderful neighbours and friends. Thank you so much for chatting with us today, Margaret. We really appreciate it. Not at all. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening to the SRCC podcast. If you would like more information, some support, or if you would like to make an appointment, please get in touch with us on 1-800-750-780 or info at srcc.ie. We're here to listen.